हेलो एवरीवन एंड वेलकम बैक टू द फार्मोकोलॉजी लेक्चर सीरीज सो इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो वी शेल कवर द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक दैट इज हेलिसनोजेंस व्हिच आर आल्सो नोन एज साइकोटोमिमेटिक्स और साइकेडेलिक्स और साइकोडिसलेप्टिक्स और साइकोटोजेंस नाउ before going into the individual drugs which are used as a hallucinogens let us see what exactly these hallucinogens are and what type of effects these drugs produce okay so hallucinogens these are the drugs which alter the mood and the behavior and even the thought that is the way the person thinks or perception about the reality okay so by altering all these modalities it produces the sensation which is similar to that which is seen in the psychosis a psychotic patient okay so similar kind of symptoms will be precipitated by this particular agent so there are a number of compounds uh, which can be used uh, as hallucinogens which have hallucinogenic property there are a number of natural products which have this property also there are uh, many synthetic compounds also which have been uh, discovered okay, which have the hallucinogenic property okay now let us see what are those different effects which are produced by this hallucinogens so generally this particular drugs produce a dream like state which uh, is uh, associated with disorientation you will feel as if you are in a dream okay? you are dreaming and disorientation that is the orientation the directions will be lost okay identification of the orientation will be lost there will be loss of contact with the reality okay isolation from the reality so if if you have certain uh, issues or certain problems okay you will be indifferent from all those okay? even the field of vision it may appear to sway sway means to swing um, up and down or forward and backward side to side okay so vision will appear appear to be as if uh, you are swinging okay or the objects they will appear uh, like you know distorted like images as if you are looking in a curved mirror you must have visited certain parks which have these curved mirrors wherein your images they appear distorted even the faces of the person may appear grotesque that is unusual okay abnormal uh, like faces will be appearing okay and if the person closes the eye uh, series of colorful realistic and fantastic images will appear to surge that is to pass on even the time sense is altered the music will be more tangible so a uh, sort of a dream like and confusional state will be created okay? and the person will have a sense of well being okay that is the person will have a very nice feeling okay? the ability to concentrate will also be impaired that is when when you are reading something you when your mind is alert you understand what you are reading right but in this situation the person can read but do not know what he or she is reading okay then uh, many of the individuals may feel relaxed or extremely happy okay? sometimes they may laugh uncontrollably okay so this situation is called as a high so the person will have a very nice feeling or in certain situations the person may even become sad and even may start weeping okay and higher doses it may result in panic reaction okay restlessness will be uh, precipitated anxiety will be precipitated and the person will have a sinking sensation okay then upon chronic use of such drugs some degree of tolerance may occur to all these effects that is the effects may wane off but sometimes reverse tolerance is also seen that is the increase in the sensitization will be seen okay 
okay so greater degree of actions will be seen greater than normal degree of actions will be precipitated uh, by such drugs okay so all of these drugs which have hallucinogenic property these are drugs of abuse liability they may tend to develop psychological dependence that is the person may want to consume the drug again and again the person will become psychologically dependent on that particular drug okay? because of the types of effects the cns effects which are produced by these particular drugs now the psychological dependence it may vary from mild to marked okay it may be uh, very much severe okay this is known as compulsive abuse that is a person wants to consume the drug if the drug is not um, available the person become highly uh, anxious and restless okay until uh, they have the drug okay so such type of drugs are known as drugs of abuse we have seen that certain therapeutic agents also have abuse liability especially those which act on the cns okay sometimes uh, because of all these altered state of mind these hallucinogens also are used in psychiatry to facilitate the conversation so there are certain uh, individuals who are withdrawn or reserved so they don't open up or they don't talk very easily or they don't tell what they feel so at that time if you want to communicate with them the influence of such drug they it will remove the restrictions and the person will start telling you what is the truth okay so it may help in communicating with uh, such individuals or opening up the inner self of such individuals who are withdrawn Okay. Otherwise, the use of this particular drugs is not advisable because these are all the drugs of abuse. So, whatever we are going to discuss in today in this particular lecture is in view of understanding the abuse liability of these particular drugs. Okay. So, it is not advisable to consume such kind of drugs because they have abuse liability. The person may become dependent on it okay so we do not support any of such kind of consumption or promote any of such kind of consumption of such drugs of abuse liability okay so it should not be consumed because it is not good for health or the person may become dependent on that and it may have deleterious effects okay severe uh, effects of certain systems of the body may get affected okay now coming to the drugs which have hallucinogenic properties so first one is or the first class is the indolamines so first example under this is lysergic acid diethylamide lsd is the accepted short form for, for this particular compound so this is a particular drug which belongs to the ergot alkaloids Okay, so this particular effects of uh, the hallucinogenic effects these were experienced by the scientist hoffman when he was working with these ergot alkaloids okay so this particular drug lsd it is more or it is the most potent psychedelic okay, or a hallucinogen just 25 to 50 micrograms it produces all the effect mental effect central sympathetic stimulatory effect all those hallucinogenic effects may be produced by this particular drug and the mechanism involved is the serotonergic neuronal system of the brain is basically affected by this particular drug lysergic acid diethyl amide the next drug belonging to this category is lysergic acid amide so this is actually uh, congener of LSD but it is 10 times less potent and usually found in morning glory seeds that is Ipomoia uh, wireless next drug is the psilocybin this is actually found in the Mexican mushroom psilocybin mexicana and usually used by the tribals for certain religious rituals next drug is the harmine okay, this particular uh, drug it is present in wine banisteriopsis capi this is the source for uh, this particular drug which is found usually in the amazon regions okay so it is basically used as a snuff also it has uh, abuse liability 
then bufo tendon is the next drug this is usually isolated from the skin of toads this is the source bufo uh, marinus is the source uh, for this particular compound also this particular drug is found in the snuff and in the mushroom amanita muscaria this is one more source for bufo tendon Now the next class is phenyl alkylamines. Okay. Mescaline is the example. This is actually found in the cactus Lophophora williamsi. This is the source for mescaline. This is actually a low potency hallucinogen which is usually used as rituals. Now though it is phenyl alkylamine, it uh, does not have any marked sympathomimetic effect. Okay, just like the other ones. Then the next one is. ecstasy now usually this ecstasy it is the term which is given to this particular compound methylene dioxy methamphetamine mdma or 10 amphetamine as it is known as so it is a amphetamine like synthetic compound which has cna stimulant and hallucinogenic property okay so usually this particular drug is also an euphorian and a drug of abuse liability the risk of neurotoxicity is very high with this particular drug okay so it's a drug of abuse liability but it has deleterious effects the next is the yaba actually it is a combination of methamphetamine with another stimulant such as methyl hexenamine or caffeine these are combined so usually this is also a combination drugs which are used uh, as abuse um, liability drugs okay so you, this particular drug also produces high a sense of well being however there is a risk of neurotoxicity with this particular combination also now apart from these okay so far we have seen that there are uh, drugs which are obtained from the natural sources so there are certain other synthetic uh, phenyl alkylamines also which have hallucinogenic property that is uh, examples like dimethoxy methyl amphetamine or methylene dioxy amphetamine and even the amphetamines which are used as cna stimulant drugs or uh, these in the higher doses also can produce similar effect okay psychosis like effect next class is aryl cyclohexylamines fencyclidine is the example actually it's an anticholinergic uh, drugs which can even activate the delta receptors this, this is an opioid receptor in the brain so as a result of this it can produce disorientation distortion of the body images hallucinogens hallucinogens is actually the uh, it is a symptom wherein the person can imagine about the things or the person which is actually not existing they may hear certain voices when nobody talks about okay when there is nobody around they can see certain images okay so the such type of effect is known as hallucination hallucinations okay so such this this is quite commonly produced by uh, these particular agents apart from this it also produces uh, anesthetic like state Okay, so uh, am amnesia or a dream-like state will be produced by this particular agent. Apart from this, ketamine is one more closely related compound which have lower hallucinogenic potential. So this is usually used as a uh, dissociative anesthesia. It produces dissociative anesthesia. That is, uh, dissociation from the reality is produced. So a dream-like state is produced. So it is used as an 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 anesthetic. Okay, so it is used in anesthesia along as an adjuvant along with the other um, agents. Okay, the next is the cannabinoids. Now, cannabinoids. An example is nine uh, delta tetrahydrocannabinol. Actually, this is a active principle which is found in cannabis indica. You know, this particular cannabis is also quite popularly used uh, as. Uh, the drug of abuse okay by the uh, addicts okay uh, this actually this particular cannabis it has a lowest acute toxicity but it also alters the mental state okay the so sense of well being will be produced for which the person may want to use the drug again and again but 
the young abusers they may exhibit anti motivational syndrome that is they may lose the interest in work self improvement activities okay so they may not be interested so these are not good signs actually okay, there are two cannabinoid receptors which have been uh, discovered in the body cb1 which is usually located in the cns so cns effects are usually mediated to cb1 and cb2 is the receptor which is mainly found in the peripheral tissues Uh, now this cannabis apart from being producing the cns effects it also has analgesic property anti emetic anti inflammatory properties also now uh, this particular drug the crude drug or the active principles or even the synthetic analogs they have been proposed in variety of conditions so proposed uses could be as follows to ameliorate the muscle spasm or pain which may be associated with sclerosis or dystonias then cancer chemotherapy induced vomiting certain synthetic cannabinoids such as nebulon and dronabinol this these are used for this purpose then uh, as a neuronal protective in case of head injury or cerebral ischemia to relieve the anxiety and uh, the uh, migraine which is a type of a headache also to reduce intraocular tension in glaucoma or as appetite stimulant or as a bronchodilator in asthma however these are not the uh, acceptable uses actually for all these conditions there are much much better drugs which are available with less of abuse liability okay cannabinoid uh, cannot be utilized for these particular purposes when other safer drugs are available okay which do not have any abuse liability so you should go for such drugs usually hallucinogens they do not possess any therapeutic property as such so these are not the drugs of importance in much in treating some kind of diseases even if certain situations wherein these are used they have to be used carefully and under the supervision medical supervision so that the person should not develop the uh, psychological dependence upon this particular drug okay otherwise a person may abuse these particular drugs okay so it is not supposed to be done the consumption of such drugs Okay, it is not advisable. It's not a good sign. Okay, it will rather create a temporary sense of well-being, but it has much, much more deleterious effects on the body. Okay, so such use is not acceptable of any of such drugs. Okay, so this finishes the topic hallucinogens. This is the reference. Thank you.